we have the fourth kind it is sun is an example of it sun is not the source sun is the example of it it doesn't have to do with ocean it doesn't have to do with earth it has to do with everything everything is made up of atoms and the atoms have nuclei so what i'm talking about just now is the nuclear energy but it is not it is true that everything cannot be converted just because everything has nuclei doesn't mean that everything can be converted into energy okay einstein figured out in 1905 that if you have heavy nuclei remember nuclei are the part of atoms so these are the revolving electrons and these are nuclei they are they have neutrons and protons and electrons are in the orbit heavy nuclei means that they have a large number of neutron and proton together uranium 238 uranium atomic number is 92 it has various isotopes 235 238 239 some of one of them is stable one is this is plentiful available this is available in plenty india has a supply of it so when a uh, 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 heavy nucleus it is heavy because its atomic mass is large okay 92 if it is hit by slow moving neutrons if it is hit by slow moving neutrons neutron is charge zero mass one then it breaks it breaks up into more or less equal kind of daughter nuclei let's call it dot d1 and d2 these are called daughter nuclei this is parent nucleus and neutrons are available plus a large amount of energy is available and this is called as nuclear nuclear fission fission is something breaking you have, you would have seen how amoeba multiplies right so this is fission this is has to be a slow moving neutron it breaks up into two parts two nuclei daughter nuclei which have more or less equal mass three neutrons are also generated they are fast they are fast so if you can convert these fast neutrons you take away their energy by some method and make them slow then then these neutrons again can cause fission into further uh, nuclei of uranium okay so this fission three may cause nine fissions if properly handled those nine can cause 27 fissions 27 then those and it goes on and then ultimately we have called something called chain reaction we have something called chain reaction okay so more and more fission takes place it happens very very fast and a large amount of energy is liberated in fission this we were talking about by the way one nucleus so you can imagine that if you have even 1 gram of uh, uranium this kind of uranium and if you could bombard it with the neutrons so uh, how many nuclei it would have and how much amount of energy would be obtained we i'll give you a uh, an estimate of it very soon so this is called the chain reaction by fission in material called uranium now this nuclear kind of nuclear energy it can be utilized and is utilized with reasonable success in various countries even in india we have this it happens because the mass of uranium plus the mass of neutrons happens to be this mass and this mass let's call this as m1 and let's call this as m2 it so happens that m1 is only slightly greater than m2 but it is greater why is the mass of this total and this total not equal because some mass is converted into energy how new einstein again continued by saying delta m into c square delta m is the difference in the masses okay that is equal to delta m c is the velocity of light in vacuum 3 into 10 to 8 meters per second so you have if you have this even 1 gram converted into kilogram 
apply units 3 to 10 to 8 whole square, you would get the answer of energy in joules, which is a very large amount. So, using this energy mass equivalence formula of Einstein, one can find out how much of energy is produced by this uranium, which is used as a fuel. It is used as a fuel in atomic reactors. Now, this nuclear energy is controllable as controlled chain reaction. Controlled chain reaction, I just talked about the chain reaction of fission. Control chain reaction is found in nuclear reactors. Kalpakam is one. Baba Institute in Bombay has another reactors. Okay. Nuclear reactors. That that's where a controlled chain reaction is utilized. And and this large amount of energy which is which comes out, it is uh, uh, transferred to water. You would find the, these find these reactors near the sea, because the sea water is heated by this water, converted into steam, and that steam then <coughs> moves the dynamo of the generators, uh, the, sorry, the turbine of the generators. So therefore, to convert it into electrical energy. So this nuclear energy converts into heat, and heat energy converts into electrical energy in a nuclear reactor. But there is an uncontrolled chain reaction also, which is seen in the nuclear bombs. And these two, these bombs are based on two kinds of scientific um, uh, process. One is fission that I talked about. Another one is fusion, nuclear fusion. That is what I would tell you in a minute. It can be gauged, it can be gauged that one atom of uranium, that means all the nuclei of one atom of uranium, one atom of uranium would produced, would produce more than 10 million times, 10 is 10 million is 10 into 10 is 2 million is 6. So many times the energy produced by one atom of carbon from coal, carbon from coal. So, you can compare if you had one gram of coal and you had one gram of uh, uranium, right? This we are talking about one atom, one atom, right? So, one carbon atom has such a little amount of energy and such large amount of energies are obtained from the nuclear sources. Okay. But as usual, there is always a problem. Even though we have used in India, we have used only 3 percent of our energy, total energy consumption is from nuclear energy, production is nuclear energy. While in developed countries like US and Germany, you have about 30 percent of their energy requirement comes from the nuclear energy. So, we have, you can see that we have utilized very little of nuclear energy because of the problems. 